We already learned that as waves move from deep to shallower water, they slow down, get steeper, and become closer together, and eventually break. The other thing that the waves do, before they even break is what's called refraction, which is the waves bending, and changing direction when they approach a coast. As you can see in this image, the wave crests are coming in straight to the beach. Close to the headland here, the water is probably shallow, while it's probably deeper, here at the bays. So, the waves slow down more, here at the headland, and less, here at the bay causing refraction of the waves. See how the waves are bending and changing direction? This is what is wave refraction. Okay now, why is this wave refraction important? Let's understand. Look at this image. These arrows indicate how energy is directed. The refraction causes the energy of the waves to be concentrated or converged at the headland where the water is shallower. This is the area where we see higher waves and also greater erosion. However, the energy of the waves spread out or diverge in the bay area where water is deeper. So the energy is dissipated. Here, we can see shorter waves, less erosion, and more deposition. So, we should remember that, waves converge on headlands, and diverge on the bays. Hence, wave refraction has an uneven impact on the shoreline. The waves at the headlands are higher, they have greater erosion energy and hence more erosion. Whereas, when the waves approach the bays, they are shorter, have lower erosion energy, and hence less erosion, and more deposition. Let us learn about coastal erosion in detail in the upcoming section.